problem solving. What comes to your mind when you hear this word? Would that be a puzzle game? Would that be mathematics? Would that be an experiment? Of course, all of these are problem solving, but these are simple problems. Why is that? Because we know what to solve, how to solve, and what answer to expect. However, do all problems being that simple? In reality, problems could be much more complicated. For example, how to solve energy crisis, how to prevent World War III, how to travel to other planets. To deal with these complicated problems, we need to know some problem-solving methods. There are many different problem-solving methods. In this video, I would like to introduce one of these methods. It is called design thinking process. There are five key steps. The first step is empathize. Second step, define. Third step, ideate. Fourth step, prototype. And the last step, test. Now, let me show you how to go through these five steps. Case number one, building a floating platform for Sam. Um, who is Sam? Well, Sam is this little tortoise. Sam is going to live in this fish tank. However, Sam cannot swim forever. He must find a place to rest on it, otherwise he will be dead. Therefore, we need to build a floating platform so that Sam can rest on it. The problem is, how to make a floating platform for Sam? Now, we try to solve this problem using design thinking process. Step 1. Empathize. Empathize basically means to understand the feeling of the user. Of course, we cannot ask Sam directly. Therefore, we need to ask the pet owner, the pet shop shopkeeper, or you can go to the internet, ask for some comment, or carry out some survey or some research. Step two, define. In this step, we try to understand the problem better. To do that, we can highlight some keywords that we have collected from our previous research or survey. And from those keywords, we are able to generate a more clear, solid problem statement. In this case, we are building SAM, a floating platform that resembles to their natural home. Step three, ideate. That basically means brainstorming. What we're trying to do is to think about anything that is related to the problems. For example, the colors and the shape of the platform, the material of the platform, or the origin of the platform. Is it made by us, or do we salvage from the nature? Step 4. Prototype. That means model building. It starts with a sketching, sketching a picture of your model, you can use pens or any drawing software. Next, we will build the prototype, either using improvised material or using 3D printing. Step 5. Test. We must test our prototype to see if it works. If it works, how well does it perform? What are the strengths and weaknesses in the prototype? After going through these five steps, the story doesn't end here. We often go back to the previous stage, try to come up with a better definition of the problems, try to think of more possibilities, try to make another version 2 prototype. So these steps will go back and forth until you come up with the final product. This is Tom. Tom doesn't drink water often, and that's why he looks dry and not healthy. That comes with case two. We want to build a machine that helps Tom building up a healthy water drinking habit. Now, we will apply the design thinking process to solve this problem. Please refer to your notes and spend three minutes time complete those questions. 
You can start now. Are you ready to solve a problem? All right, let's do it. Case number three, building a stirring robot. When you are having a hot tea or hot chocolate, sometimes the sugar or the powder simply doesn't dissolve no matter how hard you stir it. This is the moment where you hope to have a blending machine or robotic arms to stir it for you. Now, use the problem solving method that you have learned to deal with this problem to build a robot. Everyone, good luck, have fun.